This video is sponsored by Biosphere Expeditions. It's rare to find yourself in the company of silently strolling elephants, but that's exactly how I spent much of my recent expedition to Malawi. This was my third trip with Biosphere Expeditions, and each one gives me a new appreciation for wildlife, science, and the stillness that fills these far-flung corners of the world. Our day started early, long before the sun warmed the camp. I've had many of my own adventures, which we be called expeditions. On two mornings, I joined the optional 5 a.m. tour, where a few of us boarded the vehicles with a simple goal. Find the elephants. What other things are around here? Any branch here? Seems a bit big for personality. Oh, you're my genetic personality. <laughs> After breakfast, at 7 a.m., the real work began. We started by scouring the swamps for hippos and recording any other species we found on the iNaturalist app. We regularly came across groups of hippos splashing around in the water, their sheer size and presence even more impressive up close. This is a different one. He's got longer tusks. Oh, yeah. One of the most unexpected tasks during the expedition was collecting and analyzing elephant feces. We carefully measured and sorted them to extract the seeds. Not fun at all. Miserable, cold. Um, we've started. Um, we've got the data sheets, which we'll put in the completed data sheets folder. We probably better check them. During classroom instruction, I was the first to volunteer to sort out the feces. How are you guys doing? Did you find much in that? Okay. No. I'm not The reason for this task? By examining the seeds, we were able to gain insight into the elephant's diet, which helped scientists understand which plants were predominant in the area and which ones the elephants preferred. This data is essential for tracking ecosystem health. Knowing what elephants eat allows scientists to monitor changes in the landscape and understand the role these gentle giants play in shaping their environment. Plus, it was a unique experience to be able to be so hands-on in a task that directly contributes to conservation efforts. We had a target of 70 species and 100 observations, which we reached by the end of our stay. I usually spent this time quietly searching for new animals and plants to document. Every piece of data we collected, whether during a drive, a transect, or even a silent observation from camp, added depth to our understanding of the area's wildlife. The goal? To better understand the biodiversity of Waza Marsh. Mm. 